Welcome to our living Look, that's rice. Where scientists from Epcot and the University Pineapple. Department of Agriculture are exploring it in sand? innovative ways to yeah. produce bountiful sand. harvests now Taro and into root. the future. Yeah. Red fruit. Edible flowers. The tropics are home to the greatest diversity of plants on the planet. Many of these like papaya, are bananas, oh, cacao, there's jackfruit. coffee and rice are well known you around the jackfruit. world. Jackfruit tastes nasty. <laughs> these are just a few of the edible plants that have been Look, an ginger. important source of nutrition for people living in the tropics. Many are rich in vitamins and minerals, while others are well adapted to growing in less than ideal conditions. Really? Some, like the water lily, thrive in wet, swampy areas and waterways. All parts of dragon the plant, fruit, even the flower petals, are edible. Yeah, the starchy root of the plant has long been used to make flour for baking. One day, many of these lesser-known tropical Peanut plants butter may be as important as the bananas growing on both sides of the boat. More than 28 million tons of bananas Fluted are pumpkin. eaten annually, making it the most popular fruit in the world. Cassava. Is it? Most popular fruit in the world is a banana. That's how you make chocolate, guys. You can see there's one right there. A yellow pod. Oh, yeah. Well, that was. Farming or agriculture accounts for nearly half of all the seafood consumed globally. Tilapia, and catfish, like the ones you see here, are three Yeah, hybrid. The sustainable system we're using here recycles the water in the tanks. As a result, we're able to save millions of gallons each year. While there are more than 50,000 edible plant species in the world, most of us are Look, only familiar with the plants, you guys. that make up our everyday diet. The common grains growing here, wheat, Maize, sorghum, and milk, plus rice, account for nearly two thirds of our global food consumption. Learning how to increase yields of Canola, these foods is an important goal maize, of research daily, around the world. Daily you can eat. Coffee. 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 These plants are definitely on their way up. Innovative growing techniques like these increase yields while more efficiently using resources like water, fertilizer, oh, wow. and pesticides. Another innovation at work here is our integrated pest management program. By populating our greenhouses with Cucumbers. beneficial insects that how they're growing. On pests like aphids and flies, we are significantly reducing our reliance on conventional pesticides. Look We're the growing lettuce. these crops using our nutrient film system. This technique precisely controls and recycles water and nutrients. With it, we can produce over 27,000 heads of lettuce a year in this one small area. That is. That's cool. Yeah, they got it in the tiny little plastic. Look at those devices that are spinning and growing. This is cut melon. Lettuce. Some kind of Look at those pumpkins growing up Some there, guys. Some of our best ideas have been inspired by nature, it's a Cinderella like pumpkin. these fruit and vegetable trees. By growing these ground plants vertically, we can increase yields and better control diseases. These crops... Recycle. Vertical farming is what that's called. Rotates them up and down. Look at the fish in there. I can't believe they are doing this in the future of agriculture may include innovative ideas like this vertical growing system. Plants grown in this way use a fraction of the space required by traditional growing methods. That saves water and increases production. The aquaponics system on your left combines hydroponics with aquaculture. The fish provide a natural source of fertilizer for the plants and the plants help keep the water clean for the fish. It's another great way to produce more while using less. In our lab, Epcot scientists are working with the U.S. Department Viola. of Agriculture on a number of Viola innovative projects. The goal of these Johnny efforts Jimbo. is to produce higher yielding and better...